Then you are open to the next season of your life. It's called the season of manifestation. Oh, hallelujah, when you get to that season. When you get to that season, called the season of manifestation. Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 15. Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 15. Please read with me, everyone one to read and so after he had what he obtained the promise one more time everyone please and so continuation to the story after he had patiently endured endured what the mockery endured what the shame endured what the pain endured what the ridicule as noah when he was building the ark there were people who were laughing and saying this man only god knows what you had for 120 years he was building that ark but a season would come called a season of manifestation if you cannot patiently endure there is no promise and so after he had patiently endured he obtained the promise your season of appearing is when god opens the curtain of your destiny and you are ready to stand on the stage of life can i tell you the season of appearing happens so fast it will surprise you there has never been a slow there is there are faces to it there are three faces to your season of appearing but it can happen instantly look at joseph joseph is in the prison not knowing that by the next day by that same time he would be the prime minister the disciples were tarrying do you know the frustration of tarrying 120 people just waiting i'm sure somebody will say ah what is so special about the holy ghost that he has not come and they say keep quiet don't don't offend the lord just do what he asks you to do listen to what i'm telling you can i tell you this there is a mysterious way god designed the season of appearing it has indicators but you will never know the exact moment you just keep being faithful you don't know that by the next day you are going to get a job by the next day the business proposal that you have written you may never know oh Saul that you are one day left to meet Samuel when Saul left his father's house at a point they were tired they said let's go back he said no we can't go back we have come too far the same energy it takes to go back is the same energy it takes to continue let's finish up there is a seer and as soon as they went by the gates they met this mysterious man called Samuel Samuel laughed he said go up I will come and tell you what is in your heart you will get up one morning thinking it will be like any other day and God will position someone you do not know that you have just wrapped up your season of training I can tell you this how do you know your season of training has come to an end God himself defines the moment for you but i tell you this for everyone who ended seasons a man was there to lift his hands if you are joseph pharaoh is there if you are saul samuel is there for as long as you have not seen your samuel keep moving for as long as you have not seen pharaoh joseph keep interpreting the dreams for free a day will come you will interpret it and it will not be for free again but qualify do it for the wine presser for free. Do it for the baker for free. Let the wine presser forget you for two years. It's still a test. Because one night, Pharaoh will send for you. And on that day, you will not interpret for free again. Why will Joseph interpret a dream for free? Interpret this for free. And even beg the man and say, please, if you get to Pharaoh, tell him I am innocent. And he forgot but when the moment was come every night Jesus kept teaching them and telling them the promise of the Spirit is coming they waited and waited and waited for 50 days after he ascended 
but the bible says now acts chapter 2 and verse 1 we're praying now when the day of pentecost was fully come it says they were gathered with one accord verse 2 please read with me the first two words one to read one more time one more time this is how the season of appearance happens and suddenly he got the job and suddenly the mantle of his destiny came upon him and suddenly the woman got pregnant after 30 years and suddenly God opened the door and suddenly the ministry began to blossom listen to me I can tell you this you know you are in your season of appearing because suddenly things just change with speed you look back and say how did this happen when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion the Bible says we were like them that dream when the Lord began to open doors of ministry for me when the Lord began to show me his mercy on that wise it came with such level of speed I could no longer accommodate my schedules what is this new thing that is happening to me it's as if a curtain just opened everywhere Joshua Selman I know how seasons of greatness comes but can I tell you this while you wait cry but wait keep doing what he's asking you to do you sowed the seed like a fool and you are sitting down and God can I tell you this nobody has exhausted his season yet the moment you get to that season of appearing then the, the next level starts with the same cycle again preparation and then manifestation then the next cycle of the next realm preparation you don't exhaust it look at our father in the Lord Bishop David Oedeko when he was building the the faith tabernacle oh did he know another one was coming when Baba Deboe was building the old crown of redeem that one is a miracle already that is somebody's prayer point in many lifetimes but after enduring God now told him build three kilometers by three kilometers next instruction I remember those days in the ministry we used to sit on the ground on mats and then the days of Zaria and then now he's brought us into the city only God knows how many episodes of this greatness will happen in our lifetime that is why it's dangerous to over celebrate realms they would distract you there is a healthy way to celebrate and prepare because every time you attain a manifestation of a realm the preparation for the next realm should start immediately this is how champions live champions never plateau champions never rest as soon as they pat their back they know that you are beginning another circle listen to what i'm telling you some of you this is the reason why you rose up in ministry you rose up in your finances as soon as you made 1 million 10 million 100 million you just plateaued and said oh, my soul find rest now you look at our fathers in the lord today it's as if they are just starting ministry i returned back from enugu and i was seeing the posters of our father baba kumuyi everywhere i said at this age this man is still traveling and holding crusades as if he's trying to gain visibility please sir huh? let me give you an advice when people clap for you sustain the courage to tell them is enough because i'm already focusing on the training for the next season let me wrap up we're going to pray give us mark chapter 4 from verse 26 let me show you the three levels of stepping into your season of appearing mark chapter 4 from verse 26 please look up everybody never forget this spiritual formula we're about to pray and he said so is the kingdom of god as if a man should cast seed where into the ground 27 and should sleep <laughs> and rise up night and day and the seed should spring and grow up he knoweth not is it in your bible there now here is the progression 
for the earth bringeth forth fruit of herself now when it has to do with bringing forth fruit three levels first the blade then the air after that the full-blown corn in the air when you begin to step into seasons of greatness everything will not happen at once there are levels first the air you will begin to see God honor you there are politicians today for instance who started as local government chairman when they won they celebrated and God told them be careful don't stop here there is still another height and then maybe they went to state house of assembly and so on and so forth and many are still on their way transiting there are business people I remember for some of you here you will sit down and tell yourself ah I just made one million and one million will look like forever for you you are happy coming from your background this is a miracle and God says celebrate but a day will come you will be feeding nations a day will come you will sign a million dollars two million dollars and give nations and they will ask you how did it feel the first day you say I still can remember it was pastor Nathaniel Bassi dear friend and brother who was sharing about the things that were happening to him that a time came in this nation when he was under his late pastor nobody knew anything about him there are footballers who suffered as if God did not call them every club side pushed them away and they kept enduring and when their season came just one person looked at them and said come and that was it they never returned again we are going to pray let me share with you a story many years ago I went to a place called Premier Hotel in Ibadan when I went there um, it was night and I didn't even have the money to pay for any place for accommodation and I'm telling you I said God what is this I entered the place looked around you know wonderful place and I was seeing people and I could not pay for the place I could not even pay for any place looking around I was just hanging around I couldn't hang out in inside so I was outside and then eventually I made up my mind I said I can't stay like this till morning there was a church somewhere I trekked and I found a church that was doing night vigil I joined them to do that vigil so that I don't waste there's no need wasting time I tell you this and then a few years later I would go to preach within that region and right from I think it was from the airport or so I can't remember the whole story now I saw people greeting me protocol people with cars and they were leading me to my place of stay guess where they took me when I saw myself climbing that hill tears filled my eyes and I said oh God only a fool says there is no God when they dropped me there they took me to their highest suit and I was there I usually travel with my people and they were outside they were swimming there was a program in the evening you know but these guys were swimming playing table tennis and i was watching them from that place i said it's not your fault my dear people they were happy enjoying themselves by the pool and i was watching i said oh dear but what if because of what happened at that moment i said you know what this ministry will just fold it that's all do you know how many people are cheering you in the spirit and saying for our sake don't give up we have been waiting for you do you know how many unborn children who are saying doctor you will be the consultant who will deliver me or in case it's CS make sure you keep giving your best do you know how many people who are saying businessman it is your scholarship that is going to raise me to have an encounter don't give up there are nameless faces in the spirit joining the angels to say you have come too far you have come too far apostle you don't know how many times I've failed do not worry there is something called failing forward look up if you enter a plane and the plane is moving and you go back to the back seat are you going backward 
is the plane moving forward even though inside the plane you are moving back overall are you going backward that's what we call failing forward there is failure as an event there is failure as a person i'm speaking here tonight to a man of god who went for a crusade saying god called you and you went there nobody was healed only one person was saved the people said don't ever tell us god called you again and you return back wondering or a prophet who prophesied 10 cases you got zero you didn't everything you saw was wrong and you are wondering lord did you really call me what of a businessman who five businesses you lost money you failed completely i bring you words of comfort in this kingdom there is something called the season of preparation and the season of appearing during your season of preparation you discover god you discover you you discover that rod that you will be using to do mighty things for the kingdom can i tell you this no matter how many times you fall don't throw that rod that is the rod that you will part the red sea with make sure by the time you get to the red sea you don't get there alone get there with your rod your rod can be your voice your rod can be your hands your rod can be your brain your rod can be your character everything that can help you today we thank god for the privilege of this rod he has so trained us to hold it was once the rod of moses but when he handed it over to god it became the rod of god never call the rod of moses again it is called the voice of you but when you hand it over to God, it's now called the voice of God. It will now sing songs that will go around the world. It will now preach messages that will go around the world. Be careful when you laugh at people who are in their seasons of training. You may be laughing at your destiny helper and bury your head in shame forever. There are people who laughed at young people thinking they will never rise there are people who laughed at business people can can i tell you this sometimes god allows people to witness your failure so that they will be the defenders of your greatness they will say no 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 i saw this man of god i knew when he held a crusade that nobody was there i saw this business person i my mother even gave him 20 naira don't be ashamed of your season of tears the scar on your hand today You've heard me say it. What you are ashamed of today will become your symbol of honor tomorrow. Are you ready to pray? Let's stop here tonight. Please rise up on your feet. Please, no moving around. Lend me two or three minutes. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. You are going to lift up your voice in the next two or three minutes and you are going to cry before the God of heaven. You're going to tell him, Lord, I am in my season of preparation. Grant me grace. Grant me grace. Lift your voice and pray. If someone pray, grant me grace to discover you. Some of you are just starting in destiny. God may not be talking to you about purpose. God may not be talking to you about ministry. He may not be talking to you about your assignment. He will talk to you about himself. He wants you to know him, not your talent. God first lift your voice and pray cry before the Lord your maker in the beginning God over my life so what will start as a ministry starts as an encounter with God what will start as a kingdom financing ministry will still start as God what will start as a kingdom political career still starts as god everything no matter what it is if it is in its beginning it is god pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development Lord, grant me the discipline, grant me the diligence. May I not pamper myself, may I not pamper my destiny. Let pain not be a, 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 a distraction, let pain not constitute a limitation. Grant me the grace to endure like a faithful soldier, building, 
building my mind building my gifts building my mind building my value building my mind building my value if someone pray building my mind building my value this is a template that our fathers followed this is a template that our fathers gave us this is a template that scripture gives us we cannot compromise on the pattern pray for the season of tests oh that when god will prove me may i be faithful that when god will prove me may i have the stamina to remain ye who have continued with me ye who have continued with destiny I will finish my season of training with honor, with nobility, with honor, with nobility, with honor, with nobility, with honor, with nobility, with honor, with nobility. Hallelujah. Hear me. Now you are going to pray for sensitivity so that you will not be missing on the day the grace for appearance comes may it find you where god asks you to stay listen the devil can cheat you through offense the devil can cheat you through impatience the devil can cheat you through the manipulation of demonic spirits to not be where the grace for your season of appearance will find you i like you to pray and cry for grace sensitivity oh god to be where my lifting will meet me. Is someone praying? Go ahead. Please pray. This is a spiritual strategy for greatness. This is a spiritual strategy in this kingdom there is no magic about how we rise this is the protocol non-emotional non-negotiable non-emotional non-negotiable i obtain grace to be sensitive to the man that god will send when my season of appearing comes i will be sensitive to the instructions that come hallelujah hallelujah listen to me some of you before that season comes prepare your cv and keep it waiting so that if they ask for it in two minutes you can send war betides a man when your help has called you say i'm not yet prepared that was a mistake of the five foolish virgins they were all virgins but what made some wise and foolish was some carried extra oil it was time the longevity of the time was what separated them just because you are among the virgins does not mean you will see the groomsman five carried extra oil they said paradventure we are stretched beyond time we will stay from this oil and the others did not and even though the bible still respects the fact that they were virgins it said they were foolish virgins so while you are praying sometimes the prayer you are praying is not for ministry again it's for the days when you will need to stand alone there are extra things god is giving you don't throw them away don't throw the extra oil there are them that sell if you don't see them on time the bible says when they went to buy there was a lamentation behold the bridegroom the season of appearing is come and they, they say everybody got up they lit their lamp and for others the oil was not there and they said sorry even though you have waited this long you have still missed the season go to them that sell and buy that means you can buy on time because in any case you will still buy be sure that you don't buy too late buy when you are young buy before children come Buy before responsibilities come.
buy before preaching engagement occupy you buy oil buy lamb buy before your fame goes away build character build grace build stamina that's buying the oil can i tell you this i look at my life today and with every sense of respect sometimes i look at it and i say this this public life sometimes can be so distracting i will pass and see something that i like on the street i can't stop to buy it because both the person selling it and everybody there it will become something else once upon a time i had my liberty to live my life a day will come you will not have the time to do what you're doing i'm telling you look how long we stay here there was a time we had all the liberty so when god is stretching you see yourself as going to them that sell some of you god is bringing you here it may not be convenient you come from very far and god says still come because a day will come you may not even be in this country again a day will come you may not even be in abuja again but elijah you eat small eat again the journey is still far please go back and listen to this message again go to koinonia global you will find it on youtube listen again and again and again take note of all these teachings that god has been bringing call somebody who you know is going through a season he does not understand tell him i have a message for you there is a spiritual strategy for greatness let this message explain to you the happenings in your life but as for me i made up my mind not to over celebrate realms because i know compared to where god is taking me and compared to where god is taking this ministry thank god for it but we are only starting i tell you this is not what i saw in the visions no you must insist till what god showed you comes to pass when god showed this we saw nations not a city so yours is to believe thank god for what god is doing across the globe but can i tell you as a great family of faith let us give god praise but let's not be too distracted there is a distraction that greatness and success at a level brings we can become full of ourselves koinonia god is doing abc compared to the miraculous we are just playing child's play compared to levels of fire to change territories this is just this is still a school of the spirit stay with god and let him be done with you and you will see that you will send one word and it will shift the spiritual climate of nations i leave you with this word tonight therefore hear me the bible says seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses it says let us lay aside every weight and the sin that doth easily beset us then it says to run with perseverance the race that is set before us looking up to jesus who is the author and the finisher of your faith modeling from him who for the joy that was set before him he endured the cross and despised the shame father we thank you for the privilege of coming to your house tonight in the name of jesus christ 